Hi, I'm Christina McGoldrick with This Week in Santa Clarita. Right now we're here at the Melody Ranch Motion Picture Studio, the site of the 2010 Cowboy Festival. We're joined with Mike Fleming, Festival Director for the Cowboy Festival. Mike, tell us a little bit about this year's event. Well, the dates are April 22nd through 25th. Uh, we got the usual great lineup of musicians, of course, and poets coming in. Uh, we have a couple of Thursday events, April 22nd. Uh, there, there are still tickets available. There's a great bus tour from Santa Clarita down to the National Autry National Center, uh, where they get to see a Gene Autry movie and tour his, uh, his film vault, which is a very exclusive thing to do. And then Thursday night, there's a Chuck Wagon dinner show featuring the Sons and Brothers, put on by the Santa Clarita Valley Historical Society. Uh, it's a lot of fun, great music, great food. I know one of the popular events from last year was the movie night where you get to watch a movie right here on Melody Ranch's Main Street. Is that still available? That is still available and yes, it, last year was our first year doing that. It was a big hit. Uh, it's limited to about 150 people. Uh, they park at our shuttle site and come in on bus and then they have a great dinner right on the uh, Main Street of Melody Ranch where all those great westerns were filmed. And this year we're going to be uh, featuring High Noon, the movie High Noon going to have some people uh, talking about that film beforehand and then showing it. So yes, there's still tickets available for that. In addition to being the one time you were the public can come out and experience Melody Ranch, the Cowboy Festival also offers a host of activities from awesome peach cobbler, <laughs> chuck wagon cooking, live music. Tell us more about those specific things. Well, let's talk about the peach cobbler because that's uh, legendary here. <laughs> uh, to explain to our audience, it's actually prepared in a Dutch oven just like they used to do, do out on the range in the 1800s. And there's something about it that gives it that flavor that everybody raves about. Every time I go to the food court, uh, the line is long, but people are willing to wait for that peach cobbler. Uh, and, that, and then they have other chuck wagon food as well. Of course, we've got some great entertainment. If you like uh, jazz or swing, we've got Cow Bop and the Quaby Sisters Band. If you like more traditional music, we have the Sons of the San Joaquin. Uh, just great variety of talent. John Chandler in the Wichita. John is a great uh, singer, songwriter. Yvonne Hollenbeck, if you just like good cowboy poetry, she's a rancher's wife from South Dakota. Uh, she's first time we've seen her in maybe four years, so it's going to be nice to have her back. And then, of course, the big thing is just walking Main Street, Melody Ranch. Uh, it's like time travel. You get off the shuttle bus, and all of a sudden you're back in the 1800s. And we tried to recreate that as well with some of our living history exhibits. We have the Buffalo Soldiers, who are reenacting what the, uh, the regiment of African-American soldiers back in the 1800s uh, used to do, and they show how it was back then on the plains. Uh, we have living history for the kids. Uh, we have the Buckaroo Bookshop, which we started last year, which is a very, very popular thing. Titles for kids and adults, author readings, author signings. It's really fantastic. In addition to those things, we also have a host of multicultural activities from Ballet Folklorico to Native American dancers. Tell us more about those. Well, we started that again last year, and uh, it's very, very wonderful stuff. We have a great mariachi band that plays. Uh, we have, uh, as you said, the Native American dancing and drumming that will happen. Uh, Ballet Folklorico, of course. We have an, a Western poet singer called Ken Graydon, whose specialty is California history, who will be performing there as well. One of our more popular acts last year that performed there will be doing one show there and then several shows in the California Music Hall. That's a battalion band of California, uh, which is a reenactment of a Civil War band from the 1860s playing all the marching music from that period. Definitely two days chock full of events at the festival and then some great leading events leading up to the festival. Thank you so much for joining us, Mike. My pleasure. We hope to see everybody out there. Well, there you have it, the Santa Clarita Cowboy Festival kicking off right here at Melody Ranch April 24th and 25th with additional events taking place across Santa Clarita in the days leading up to the festival. For more information, visit cowboyfestival.org. Howdy, friends. It's time to dust off your boots and head on over to the city of Santa Clarita's annual Cowboy Festival. The Old West comes alive as you walk down the streets of the Melody Ranch Motion Picture Studio. They've been on stop entertainment all weekend with nationally renowned musicians and cowboy poets. Get fitted up with authentic cowboy gear and taste the best cowboy grub in the West. So come on out to the historic Melody Ranch Motion Picture Studio in the rustic hills of Santa Clarita. The City of Santa Clarita's Earth Arbor Day Festival is coming to New Hall Park on Saturday, April 17th from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. The Earth Arbor Day Festival will feature seven interactive zones with free entertainment, giveaways, and plenty of food. Enjoy live music on two stages all day and over 80 vendors showing off the latest in green products and tips for green living. 
Go to greensantaclarita.com for all the details and don't miss the city's Earth Arbor Day Festival on Saturday, April 17th.